a brand new video. Um, there was no school today, and so I decided to make a video because why not? Um, today is gonna be an unbox. Well, not an unboxing video. It's gonna be like a shoe review. Um, of where are they? The Sperry. Let's see. Uh, can you see the Sperry Seven Cs? Um, knit. Knit. Yeah. So. Um, let's get right into it. To start off, I mean, there's really nothing special about it. It's just the shoe that comes with, okay, that comes with like this little pamphlet that pretty much just like talks about how the shoe was made. Um, nothing too special about it. And it just says like, um, I don't know, it just gives like a little brief, like, like brief, not history, but like how the shoe was made. And yeah um so i'm not gonna lie i've already worn this shoe um they're really really uh they're really 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 comfortable but the only thing is that actually it's not a really bad thing only in like the winter times that the breathability in the shoe is really really good so if it's winter and you're wearing it outside your feet are gonna be really really cold but apart from that like during the uh summertime a really good shoe your feet won't sweat. I mean, well, they probably will because it's hot outside, but your feet are going to have a lot of breathability. Um, and, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really to the shoe except for the inside, which just says berries, and it's very comfortable. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. It's breathable. Um, as you can see, there's holes right there, so in case of water does get in your shoe, it soaks it right out and then takes it out through here, through these holes right here, and yeah i mean the bottom is i mean I, I don't really know i don't really know what's going shoes i was just kind of showing the shoe off but if you bend it you can see that like you can see that the traction like it opens up um apparently according to sperry's beastly traction non-marking rubber outsole with razor cut wave sipping for traction on wet surfaces terrain traction pods for enhanced grip on land honestly these shoes are really good on like wet surfaces you won't slip unless if it's like super super slippery it's like oil or something but these the traction on these shoes are really good um it has a fierce fit 360 lacing system as you can see right here this is what i mean by lacing 360 lacing lacing system wow i can't talk today um uh and then intense vent and by vent it's talking about these holes which the water also comes out from and just like the material the knit that it's made from it's really breathable um bunch of uh, mobility and um yeah i mean it just says that the sperry seven c's Featuring technology developed to meet the performance demands of the America's Cup most elite athletes. Um, born from the sea, built for the world. I really like that. Born from the sea, built for the world. Um, I know that's really catching. But <clears throat> the shoe is really nice. And if you want to buy it, I so totally recommend it. You can buy these at Belk, at the Sperry store, online. Um, you could probably buy them almost anywhere, honestly. These shoes go for about a hundred dollars. Um, I think it's like ninety dollars, but plus tax, maybe like ninety five or something. They're, I don't know. I I want to re I recommend them, only if you want to waste money. But if it's just for like, if you don't have money and you're kind of on a tight budget, these shoes do get kind of pricey. So I wouldn't really recommend them. Maybe going for with some like Nikes. Um, that costs like 60 bucks or something, but apart from that, if you just really do want a good shoe that would get you through the day, these berries are totally worth it. Um, here's one shoe. I'm going to show you the other shoes. What's going on? Um, so here's the other shoe. Uh, just put the shoes together. Um, the only thing I don't like about these shoes is that if you don't have thin feet, then your feet are going to overlap and my feet look fat like very very fat in these shoes 
so I kind of don't like that. But I mean, apart from that, like the insole is really nice. It's really gives you a lot of a. Uh, it gives you a very cushioned feel. Um, I don't know, maybe even a little, a little bit better than the Ultra Boost, maybe. Um, but yeah, I totally recommend these shoes and. Go ahead, um, I'll leave a uh, link in the description below for where I bought them, which was Dillard's, I think Dillard's, I'm, I'm not sure, I can't remember, I think it was Dillard's or Belk, one or the other, um, but yeah, I'll leave a, uh, a link just in case you guys are interested, this was 10 and a half, and these do fit true to size, so don't try going up a size or down a size because these do fit true to size and if you go down a size it's going to be too uh too tight and up it's going to be too loose um and these fit me just right and my shoe size is 10 and a half so yeah uh, i totally recommend it if y'all are into these shoes for like hiking and uh i want to say hiking actually yeah hiking just going out like this is this is an everyday shoe so I would so love it. It's very would uh, sponsor me. Sperry, please sponsor me. Hashtag sponsor Nightingale. Sperry, sponsor Nightingale. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this will be it for today's video. Um, I just wanted to make a video real quick because I had nothing else to do. And I was going to be more dedicated to this channel. So um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. And leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. More stuff is coming out. I have other pairs of shoes if y'all want me to to review and I can just go buy some more if y'all want that. Um, games, go ahead and comment games below if y'all want me to um, record my gameplay for. Um, and we can play together if y'all want. But I also leave a, the, my Twitter below. I, I didn't make a Twitter because I know everybody uses Twitter and maybe I might make an Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.